Guys, look at this thing. The top prop frog for five bucks. It's a 10 pound bag of fishing lures. We have to get this. What's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day, guys. We're getting a thousand subs a day right now. So go ahead and keep on hitting that subscribe button for me, please. Thank you guys very much. But today, guys, we're here with Yak Pack and Larry Bell Jr. Get over here, bro. Hey, say what's up to the Narmi. This is your first time here. Say hello to everybody. Give go. them a little rundown of your channel, right? Um, I make fishing videos. You can watch them if you want to. I think they're eh, okay. So <laughs> you should go check me out. Okay, I mean, you guys have seen Yak Pack before. I just, I just wear Yeezys. So guys, today we are here at the Bargain Basement. I don't know if you guys remember, I'll leave this video linked down below. But probably like six months ago, I came in here and we found some really, really, really old rods and reels and we did a fishing challenge on it. We like explored the whole entire basement and my friend was actually here the other day and told me that he found like thousands of antique fishing lures inside the bargain basement. All right guys, so let's go ahead, go inside the old bargain basement, do some exploring and find ourselves some of the oldest fishing lures that we've ever fished with before here on the channel. So are you guys ready to go into the basement for the first time? I'm trying so. to see the treasure. That's There's what I'm trying to see. There's a ton of stuff back here. Open, you see more treasures. This here is, uh, this is me holding my clipboard from the, uh, the 96 South Florida State championship uh pond bass fishing competition I, I don't like flexing on youtube but i did i did loan the uh the antique store my trophy all right guys we are here in the bargain basement guys this place is absolutely massive but we have located the fishing stuff and last time we were here there was not nearly as much stuff as there is here now we also have the uh the masks on you know just to be safe just to be safe but Guys, last time we had all of these reels and rods that we actually caught some pretty big fish on. I'll leave that little video linked down below for you guys. But Larry's already checking out the lures. Yo, what is that? I don't think you need to, you need to buy this, but just take this. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh, it's, a snake. it's a snake lure. That's it is so squishy weird. too. Feel it. He is a squishy same boy. Same book, same everything. Wow. So guys, there's this whole basket of antique lures right here. And then Larry has like the big basket over here. We got so much stuff that we have to go through and figure out what we're going to fish Just with today. Take this first. We're going <laughs> to yeah, definitely this, get that. That's coming with us. hundred <laughs> percent, guys. We're putting this in like a little pile, probably right here is where our pile is going to be. Guys, while Larry's going through all this tackle, I just want to say 3,000 likes on this video and I'll go fishing with my grandpa's tackle box and put it head to head against my tackle box. So like an hour fishing with my grandpa's tackle box and an hour fishing with my tackle box. See which one does best because leave a like on this video. I'll make sure to drop that video for you. Dude, what the heck are those? Check these things out, guys. I haven't heard of the Mr. Twisters. I don't know how old these are. Guys, leave comments down below if there's anything that we find that you guys think is really cool and you know more about than I do. The Mr. Twisters, dude, those are like squids. It's like five worms in one that is crazy we're gonna put these in the pile with our snake larry dude, what else you see in here i know we got some brush hogs oh very I mean, classic right i mean there. those are old today throwback <laughs> more soft plastics can't ever have enough of those no, oh my god it's a 10 pound bag of fishing lures. We have to get this. We'll give it away. We'll give it away to somebody and we'll catch a fish on every single one of them. Dude, you know how much that is? Oh my Five, gosh. Er, it's free. I'll get it for you. Come on. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Larry just found a massive bag full of worms. And this one, this one's only $5, guys. There's probably 100 worms in each of these. I don't know how old these are, too, or what brand they are. Guys, oh I can gosh. fill my tackle box up. All the soft plastics you would ever need for $10. You guys don't even have to go tackle shopping anymore. This is 10 bucks. And you have, I mean, just hundreds of worms in here. And I don't even know what these ones are, dude. Those look like old creature baits. I don't know who made these worms, how old they are, guys. But I mean, that's a that's a bargain, am I right? Okay, we're getting this. We're getting it, <laughs> we're getting this. Guys, what is that thing? It's like Medusa or something. I don't even know. Oh, that's what it looks like. Oh. Wow, oh, you put it on a worm. Oh my God, it really does look like Medusa. It oh looks like a, like a swim jig or just like a jig or something like that. Yo. But I don't know where the swivel It gives you there. tips on how to fish too. Like I need the that. pork rind rig. There's more jelly worms. Yeah, literally, that's what I was talking about. Look, man's jelly worm. I knew I, I knew I was on the something. Guys, how old are these? Let me know down below because I would say at least 10 years old, maybe 20 years old. Which what are you thinking? Which color do you think would work? Any. Any? Or one of I, each? I think I think these ones are really cool. And then okay. maybe the green one. No. What in the freaking heck is that? Is that a top? Oh, is that a top water? It's a spinner. Oh, it's a bullfrog spinner bait. Okay, so it's like a wobber plopper from like 1942. Guys, look at this thing. The top prop frog for five bucks. And this is definitely like a top water buzz bait slash whopper plopper. I have no clue how old these fishing lures are. But I mean, I can just tell by the packaging. It's yellowed. There's more of them? There's more. Look at this one. What in the world? <laughs> look at that dude. 
Yo, that's got an industrial light. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black one. I would personally use black over that color for top water. Like this is just oh me. Oh my gosh. That's that's gotta be old, dude. That's that's literally gotta be from the early 80s. No joke. That's crazy. So guys, here is basically what we're looking at with all these thousands of antique fishing lures in here. I mean just all of them in Ziploc bags. Pretty much all of them are five dollars. And we just have a ton of different soft plastics in here, and every once in a while, you know, we'll stumble across some really cool baits. These are actually probably the newest ones in here. The, uh, the brush hog is actually really good. Look at that, another $5 pack of what has to be like super old worms. What the heck are these things, guys? I just don't know, for only a dollar? Guys, we're gonna move the package right over here. I'm gonna get your help, Larry. Oh, this is how many antique fishing lures in here, guys. Look at this thing. It's like, I don't even know what to do when I'm looking at all of this. There's just so much stuff to go through. I mean, just who would ever use that many worms? I go fishing every single day. This would take me like a year, maybe, to use every single one of these worms. Yo, look at this thing, hold up. What is that? Is that a dragon? Dude, the lures Man, back in the day are it's, crazy. Dude, it's a mosquito hawk. Look at, this is how you can tell that it's older, guys, too. Look at the packaging. That's that's instantly how I know. The mosquito hawk, and it has a whole description. I want this, dude. I really do. Look at this. Dude, check this out. So they didn't have shatter beats back in the day, but tell me that this is not like a very close representation of one. What is this thing? Pro Strike. Never heard of it. It looks like a chatter beat with a worm on the back. Larry, have you ever seen one of these before? Check that thing out. There's like two of them in there. Like guys, it amazes me that I've done, you know, probably like five of these antique fishing lure challenges. And why did, why would they stop making these? You know what I mean? Like, do they not work? Maybe they do work, but we're going to figure out today when we go fishing. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? Like for real guys, comment down below. If you know about any crazy fishing lures that I've never seen before, let me know and then tell me what the ones are that we found so far. The best way I could describe this to somebody if they didn't actually see it would be like a chatterbait worm. All right guys, we are leaving the bargain basement. I got all of the lures in here. We ended up spending $38. And we're going to show you guys a little bit more about what exactly is in here and also for the giveaway. But we are headed to one of my favorite lakes. We got the John boat in the back here. We got three boys and we're going to have three lines with antique lures on them trying to catch a, uh, a big old bass because this is like one of my favorite spots. I figured if these guys came down, I'd take them to the juice. You guys ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are here at the pond. And I have all my antique lures here. We did put some back and we even grabbed some extras, but I'm gonna show you guys how to enter this giveaway and also what is in the giveaway. So we have these swivel jigs right here, guys, and this one's blue. I really don't even know what these are gonna look like until we take them out of the package. That one has a worm on it. These things are super cool. We're gonna try to catch a fish on that. Also got a bag of the top prop frogs right here. We have those chatter worms in this one right here. And we still have a lot more in this bag. And we only spent $30 on all these lures, by the way, guys. Wow. These worms are gonna do really good. And those are just big, massive jelly worms to catch a big bass. She rang this up for uh, for five bucks because it didn't have a price tag on it. And I mean, five dollars, that's the price of like a normal bag of worms. Yeah, that's a steal. Think about <laughs> one bag of Senkos you get from Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. last thing in here, guys, is just uh, more worms and that little like dragon bug lure thing that we're gonna try using as well. So if you guys want another giveaway to win all of this stuff, all you guys have to do is be subscribed, leave a like on this video. This part is optional. Comment down below like your favorite fishing lure. And if you can, if it's an older fishing lure, let me know. And also guys, make sure you guys go check out my boy Fishing with Yak Pack and Larry Melton Jr. He's put on, are you put on some, what are you doing? Bug spray? <laughs> but yeah, make sure you guys go check them out and we're gonna go out here. It's actually, it's one of like the coolest spots ever, guys. I've fished out here in months and there is really big ones in here, but I heard the bite is tough, but maybe, you know, we'll make that work with these old this lures. The best fisherman in Florida right here. What do you mean the bite is tough? <laughs> All right, guys, we are choosing out exactly what we're gonna start with throwing. I figure we start with the easy stuff and work our way up to the stuff I think it's gonna be harder, like the top water. We'll start with like worms and then maybe end it with like the prop frog or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. But I think for starters, I'm gonna throw the jelly worm. It's probably gonna be the easiest thing we got. I'm yeah, big, I'm gonna throw the big jelly worm, the big boy. You know what this smells like, Norm? It smells like 1970. Oh, did you show, we haven't showed him oh, the package yeah, yeah. yet. Guys, so apparently, where were we even reading that at? Right here. The winner of the 1973 Miller High Life Bassmaster Classic was these worms. I feel bad opening worms from 1970 to go fishing with. But if you ever wanted to keep them, there's two more packs of these in the store. What do you want to throw? Let's see. What do we got? There's chatter worms. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's funky enough. I'll stick with these. I got you doing the chatter, the chatter worms. Chatter worms. <laughs> We're gonna get go. our. Oh, that's an SM right here. Oh, did you see him come up and try to eat it again? Oh my gosh. Wait, did he eat it again? He did. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. That might have. Is that a, the same fish or is that a different one? The other one looked a little bit bigger. Dude, that was crazy. He came back up round two for it. What was that back there? Oh, you see that deer? There's yeah, two of them. Whoa. 
All right, guys, we just pulled up to pond number two. And unfortunately, when we were out there on the lake, I had my GoPro set in loop mode, which basically means every time I clicked record, it only took like a minute of the whole entire like 30 minute clip. So I lost like three fish catches at the other lake. So we're out here doing it again with the antique lures with uh, with Larry and Yak Pack over here. So we're gonna get all the lures ready and we're gonna go try to fish this pond and catch some fish in these antique lures. All right, guys, so I have the top water little frog thing tied onto this rod. And on this one, I have a little grub that we got out of that package of worms that there's like thousands of them in there. So I'm trying to catch a fish on each one of these. Oh my gosh, Larry has one. Oh no. <laughs> First ever Florida bass. Hey, that's a nice one, dude. Nice. And check. You got another one? Oh, this is another good one too. Wait, 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 did I just get bit? Nope. Okay, now I'm going crazy. Nice, dude. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Yeah, they bite that. I think some they bite too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, they broke back. Yeah, that's like a two pounder probably. <laughs> How's it going, man? Yeah. Oh, I just got eat. Got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, he ate it. I got wrapped around the tree. I'm not even kidding. What in the world, guys? I thought I was stuck and then a fish came up and saved me. <laughs> Dude, that was absolutely insane. Guys, on the grub we got from the uh, good old antique store. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, it is topwater time with this old topwater lure. And I'm just gonna keep on throwing under these trees where the shade is actually at. And I'm thinking this time of year, oh, please don't get it stuck first cast. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm thinking this time of year though, cause it's super hot outside, those fish are gonna be hanging out in these shade lines. And if they see a little topwater lure coming out like that, I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and catch something. All right guys, so we're back up here at the car and I was going through all the stuff that we bought. And the craziest thing that I could find was this little frog that we had out there since I snapped off the other one. And I think, I mean, this is gonna be what we're gonna try to catch our, our last and final fish on. It's gonna be definitely a challenge, especially because it's super hot outside. But I'm gonna go ahead and tie this thing on and see if we can't catch anything. Yo, this thing looks so good in the water. Oh my gosh. It even looks better than like, oh, it floats too. That is so cool. Guys, this is like a horny toad, but normally when you throw the uh, the horny toads, they sink. This one actually floats on top of the water and it has the two legs that kick. I actually really like this. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, awake. Oh my gosh, he ate it. <sighs> no. Dude, I watched him swim up and try to eat it. Got him! Yes! No! And I just turned on my GoPro, guys. I hope you got that blow up. That's not good. In the top. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, check that out. Yak pack on the old worm. Let's go. At least your landing years. I mean, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. You waked on it. He snapped it off. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a good one too. Yo, try to throw your lizard in there maybe. Oh, he snapped me off. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We ended up catching a good amount of fish on those antique lures. Unfortunately, I did snap off all the top waters had four blow-ups on the top water lures and did not catch a single one of them guys thank you so much for watching make sure you guys go check out my boy larry and a yak pack they're going to be linked down below do everything to help this video do better subscribe comment share all that good stuff and until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here